Hello, welcome back everybody. We're going to be getting into game soon. Let's talk about what the Saints can do maybe on this first map of Hardpoint. Yes, they are a very dominant team on this Hardpoint. We think are going to be their keys to success in this opening map. Uh, so for keys, especially for uh, sub base on this first match, I think the key would be high ground as well. Uh, especially on that first point because it comes into like the middle part of the map. You do have both sides that have that level. So I think it's key that we can either have at least one guy trying to flank them trying to get uh, get behind because I believe that's really, really important. And then getting on that, uh, sorry, that high ground enables more like like movement and you can actually see the actual battlefield a little bit more and it's easier to, to hold that down. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, I believe that I believe that's the key. And I think uh, assault rifles would be good on this map. Mm -hmm. Rival 9, uh, the SMG would be good in certain corners. But yeah, and I believe we are going to be heading into match in a few seconds. I believe so. Yeah. Yes, we are. We are just about to get underway. Let's take a look at the lineup. Seawads, Brandon, Rupert, and Cootie for the side of the Saints. Akron University is going to have Biohazard, Bowie, MZ, and Thieves. Two, four, and one teams looking to take the jump into second place in the Super Conference. Let's get underway here. Rupert going to look for a shot early. It's going to be Rupert getting the first blood onto Bowie, but it is Akron on the hard point to start off the map. He's going to get 10 points and taking. Cootie's going to fall down. Saints struggling to get him to this point. MZ finds a couple ruse. Rupert does find a trade, but it's a great start for Akron in this game one. That's for sure. You can see that the team is a little bit scattered at the moment. Although it was good on their part at the beginning for St. Clair to get to that top ground. And of course, Kautz, sorry, Kautzen does knock down the Biohazard. Bowie does get knocked down by Brayden. St. Clair having control of this point, but not on it. Now they're, now they're on it for sure. Yeah, Saints doing a great job of getting themselves back into this map after a hot start from Akron. They're going to get this garbage time. But we will have something to say about that. However, we'll maybe go for a swing there. Does find one. Does get traded out. Brandon does go down as well. But another trade from Kuti. It's a two for two. But it's going to be Akron with a great, a great start to the second hard point. They have a couple members there. Saints are late to rotate. For sure. Akron is picking up on that uh, kind of get getting into the next point immediately they already are kind of set up but Rupert does knock down one Seawaz with the other and Brandon with the third knocking them all out gaining the control of that point immediately perfect honestly on there on St. Clair's part Biohazard finally getting that kill on Kautzen and they're all just moving in to secure that point St. Clair setting up a good defense but Brandon does get knocked down by Bowie but Rupert getting MC with Bowie getting two and it's going to be probably Akron getting control of this one for the time being. Cootie does find one. Brandon finds a second. Bowie does pick up Cootie on the hard point. Looks like Saints going to concede the rest of his time. Akron going to take a comfortable lead here on this first map. Saints, you can see they're setting up for that next next hard point. They have the good spawns if they're able to keep this position. Now they're going to have a couple of members move up and try and find some picks. Rupert does pick up a one. He's taken out to one HP and the shot is there from Bowie. But it is Saints in control of this next hard point. It's going to be all on Akron to make the moves here now. Saints, a beautiful setup here. Seawads finds a couple. Bowie, though, is on a five wow. spree. Very close to those kill streaks, but Seawads on the three kill streak, not too far behind. Saints gonna grab a lot of time here as Akron having a hard point, get a hard time getting anywhere near the hard point. Seawads finds one more now on the four streak, getting close to those kill streaks. Definitely an, keep an eye out for that one. Rupert. Waiting very patiently for Biohazard. He's Seawatts finds his fifth as Rupert finds one. Brandon finds one. Saints are lighting up the scoreboard as they take the lead. St. Clair having perfect defense on that point. Point three is if you just if you have great defense on that, get taking control of the top level and having that control of the tunnel, you can have great defense on that. And does look like St. Clair is already on to that next point, preparing for for Akron to uh, to move up. Rupert does knock one. Can he get the double with Boo on the side? Kind of idling, kind of making sure, just trying to stay alive right there. Biohazard tries to aim for side, does kill Seawalls, but Brennan does get him into return. That is a perfect trade. A Rupert has been doing God's work on this angle. Now on a five spree as well. One kill away from those streaks. Should be able to find it with this kill. Here finds one. Gets shot in the back and will most likely go down. But will try and find the trade. No, Rupert does go down. But also got that streak. So Saints now have two kill streaks to their name whenever they need to use those in an open space. And they have the time on this hard point. It's hard for Akron to really get in here. Saints with such a good defense here. See Watts finds one. Almost finds the oh. second. Brandon though does find that trade. Saints still stacking up the points here as Brandon 
Brandon finds the double kill. Akron look a bit dazed. They don't really have too much idea on what to do against these early rotates of the Saints as now they're going to be setting up for the next hard point all the way across the map. Saints get a huge, huge lead here on this hard point, but now it's going to be them on the attack. They do get a huge lead, and I gotta say, Brandon right there, sitting on the top, was perfect. Brandon is phenomenal at getting on those angles and just holding that point. Defense was amazing, to be honest, and St. Clair does look God. like it. they do gain the... Or sorry, do regain control of the point, even with Akron trying to have an advantage for uh, for gaining it. But it does look like St. Clair does have that good defense. Akron kind of, it does look like they're confused. They're not unsure how to approach this, how to break their defenses. It's yeah. 11 straight kill, kills for the Saints here. 12 and 13 as they are just going completely off. Akron cannot find a kill. That's going to be more streaks rolling in if Brandon can find one more. Saints just annihilating Akron. As of right now, Kudi looks for the shots, can't find it there. Hardpoint though still ticking in the favor of the Saints. Rupert finds one, Kuri finds one as well. Kuri does get traded out. Siwas dies as well. Saints though will get the last few seconds here as Akron should probably look to rotate over. They also have a couple kill streaks, the Saints, if they need to use them to take out some wide open spaces. Brandon, oh. one kill off that streak, doesn't find the shots there. It's gonna be Akron picking up the garbage time and it's gonna be them trying to rotate over to the next point. But it looks like Saints are gonna be on that one. The Siwas found a crucial one on one and the Saints should start tacking up that, that hard point again. That's for sure, and it does go back to the first hard point again. It both teams competing over it. St. Clair obviously gains control of it. Seawatch picking off a double. Does get shot off by Biohazard, and get does, sorry, and Bao does pick off Rupert on the top. Bio just kind of having that control over that top, but does get knocked down by Brandon. Again, Brandon with those angles, having that top, uh, that sorry, that top space is perfect defense. St. Clair going off crazy, regaining the point again and setting up defense. Uh, Akron kind of having the confusion. They do look like they are going to set up on the next point though. So maybe they will kind of let St. Clair have this point, the first point, and then set up on second to kind of gain them a little bit more advantage. But it does look like they are getting knocked out pretty bad by Brandon with the double. Yeah, Saints are doing an amazing job so far. Kills why they're they're annihilating Akron. As you said, Akron gonna set up for the next point. It's the only point on this map they found any success on. Maybe this is when they turn things around, but it might just be a little bit too late against a powerhouse like the Saints. Rupert and Cootie find a couple thieves, should find the trade back onto Cootie. It's gonna be the hard point security here by Akron University. Saints, you see they have to rotate over. They don't have the best spawns for this one. It's gonna be on Rupert here to have a huge flank. Finds one, trade comes down though. Brandon does fall. Rupert though, in a beautiful position in the enemy spawn. Gonna flip the spawns actually. Seawas though, does fall down. Rupert's the only one finding kills for the Saints here on this hard point. Looks like it's gonna go over to Akron. If I'm the Saints with this big of a lead, I'll definitely be rotating over to the next hardpoint relatively early. That is for sure. I was smart on Rupert's side to kind of switch the spawns there. St. Clair kind of gaining an, a little bit of an advantage right there, to at least to keep on coming and make waves. But it does look like Akron does have this, the, the, has the defense pretty down to the bone. And, does, and it does look like St. Clair is going up to the next point to kind of prep it up. But Akron kind of already covered. So it does look like Rupert is kind of like stuck in the corner there. Not sure really to do, kind of waiting for his teammates. Thieves does knock down Seawad. Brandon knocking down Bio oh. has to get that Oh, gets a double! And that was crucial to be honest, getting knock knocking off that top guy. MZ taking one, but getting traded up by Kautzen. Seawad's getting another. St. Clair gaining control of that point. Tremendous aggression, to be honest, yeah. right there. They can't close out the game here, but they can get very close to doing so. Seawad's oh. going off, finding three there. Nice turn on to take out the Akron players. Peeves does find a pick on this hard point, but there you go. The streaks come raining in for the Saints. Kuri finds one, finds a second. Nice shots there. Only one member here. Seawad just takes his eyes off the point for one second. It's going to be Akron probably getting the rest of this garbage time, but you can see the Saints are looking to set up for the next point. All they need is a few more good gunfights and they will have this map and the gunfights are coming through they're getting killed left and right only need 34 more points to close this one out it's gonna be Rupert on the point here just has to be careful to not go down nobody from Akron's even close yet they have a lot of work to do to get into these, these positions but Saints just locking this down so well one pick comes through it's gonna be one final push here from Akron Seawas does go down does not go down Brandon as well so Akron gonna have a bit of life into them here it's gonna be on Rupert to go huge here he finds one Kuri does get traded out however and it's gonna be the Saints falling down Akron showing a bit of life later into the game
That's for sure, and Akron does switch the points up, so St. Clair does kind of have to group up and push through the defenses, especially with having MZ on that top ground, oh, sorry, high ground, <laughs> my apologies. Just that angle right there, but he does get shut down by Seawad, which is crucial. Seawad's getting the double, going in for the triple. Can he do it? Does get Brandon. the triple. Oh, sorry, Brandon gets him. And they can't end the game here. They will be just a few points off, and Akron know that. They're going to rotate over to the next point, but saying it's going to be about two points away from taking this first map. But as I say that, a couple kills go over to Akron. They take down three members of the Saints. They're going to have full control of this hardpoint. Saints, though, I don't know if they have any kill streaks left to maybe take out those members on the hardpoint, but they do start off with a pick because they slowly look to retake the map. Brandon finds one more. Rupert finds one more. This could be all she wrote. As Saints oh. are taking them left and and right, it's only Bowie left alive, does get taken down in St. Clair College, pretty dominant fashion, take map one against Akron. Honestly, that was a cr an incredible match. It kind of did look like Akron in the beginning had control of that, to yeah. be honest, and St. Clair kind of just pulled through. I find that Akron was a little bit, a little bit um, all over the place, all over the map. They weren't really together, they were more spread out. And look at that, Seawatt's 30 and 15. Crazy. Holy. That is crazy. I mean, smiles all around. The Saints just purely kill wise, completely annihilated Akron. As you said, C was there 30 and 15, and a pretty short game there. Definitely an amazing performance, but all the Saints made that happen. They were all finding big kills all across the board. We're flipping the spawns relatively well. And, you know, other than maybe a few hiccups here and there, I mm -hmm. think once they got a big lead, they knew all they needed was a few gunfights here and there, get the last remaining time, give up some position if they need to, and they clean out the map relatively easily. Yeah, for sure. I think it was smart on St. Clair for, uh, especially Especially during the second point when they get into that like small enclosed area. Uh, I noticed I think I believe his name I believe it was Rupert. Rupert, yeah. Uh, he did yeah, he ended up going into the back and switching the spawns, kinda of gaining St. Clair a little bit of an advantage as well to keep that onslaught of kind of people going in there and they did end up breaking their defense, which is great. But I feel like Ak like as I said uh, before, uh, Akron kinda of felt like they're all over the place. St. Clair I get at the beginning they were all over the place as well, but they did end up calming calming down regroup in and eventually they ended up pushing past their defenses and honestly it was a fantastic uh, match for both of them. Yeah, but towards the later parts of the map, Akron were finding a little bit more success, they were finding mm -hmm. a few more kills, so I don't think uh, Akron are just fully out of uh, this yeah. one. It's just one map at the end of the day and it is the Saints' best game mode, so it's going to be on Akron here to bounce back in this game too and it's going to be a search and destroy. What do you think uh, based off that game one, what do you think they can do to maybe adjust a few things and take the search and destroy map? Oh uh, man, like for St. Clair, sorry? No, for, for Akron. Oh, for Akron. Um, let's see. For search and destroy, it's kind of more like you don't want to be too aggressive, but just enough, just be aggressive just enough to kind of win those matches as well. I know St. Clair is more focused on that aggression side, but they have been working on towards that, so I believe they'll do well in that. But for Akron, I believe they kind of have to they have to calm it down. They don't have to be as aggressive as much and kind of just be more on the defensive side because I feel like that's what they lacked in the last match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once they had those good setups on those hard points, mm -hmm. Saints find, find relatively easily found a way through on um, more often than not. So oh, yeah. it's going to be important uh, for the Saints to keep up that kind of work on Search and Destroy. And, you know, we're going to be getting into this uh, second map uh, soon. I think... Saints, if they get off to a hot start on the search and destroy, this could be a quick series. But if Akron come out swinging, I think this might be a bit of an extended one. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, of course, with search and destroy, the map also being Invasion, our most loved, our yeah. <laughs> personally my favorite map. But we'll see how it goes. It definitely is a big map as well. I believe... Uh, yeah, I believe it's a pretty, it's a pretty big map to be honest. Yeah, and a lot of people don't really like it, but it's it's a fan favorite. Uh, what would you say is the more popular uh, attack site A or B on this map? Oh man, um, I believe it would be B because B is the top uh, of the top, right? Yeah. Yes, I believe honestly B would be the to uh, would be like the most favorite cited, just because it's it kind of it's straight down. There's a lot of like areas that you can kind of defend against, and there's a lot of cover. With A site, it's a big giant opening, that huge lane where the bridge is. It's a huge opening. It's it's kind of it's going to be hard to kind of break through that, especially as we all know, uh, Brandon loves his bridge spot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, well, honestly, I'm interested to see how it goes. 
Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be a very, very important game. Saints, uh, last week, they won their first search and destroy matchup. And then to the number one seed, they had a very, very close one, six and five. So hopefully they're not too mentally shattered from yeah. that matchup. I mean, it was an insanely close map. They're up 5-4. They just couldn't close it out. I feel like if they get to a similar scenario today, I think it's going to be wraps. Yeah, for sure. I agree with you on that. And I believe we are going to be heading into game in a few minutes, as, or sorry, in a few seconds as well. Yes, we are. <laughs> And we are going to get underway in the second map of this series. It's going to be Akron on the attack and our Saints on the defense. And you can see they are setting up for that B push. As you said, definitely the more popular uh, bomb site on this map. From what I've seen, Kuri is somehow in to the back line of Akron's Ooh. Rupert does get flashed out and taken out too much speed. But Kuri on the flank finds one. Rupert does get traded out though. But I think the fact that Kuri is up in that powerful position is gonna force the hand of Akron. I don't think they can walk through Kuri here, who just somehow snuck his way all the way to the back lines of Akron, and it might change up their plans, but no, Bowie will find that pick. It's gonna be Akron with a man advantage early in the round. That's for sure. Akron kind of <laughs> unsure of what they should, what should, sorry, what they should do, continue going towards the B or kind of transition and switch to the A site, as they do have uh, CYs kind of hiding behind that tractor. Great defense, by the way. But they are coming up to Brandon oh. behind that tank to see Brandon knocks down one, goes around the corner, oh, kind yeah, of escaping there. Oh, 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 he, got oh he got him! A double! And that was bombed as well. So now it does a quick turn in events, goes to a turn, sorry, 2v1. Brandon oh, gets the third goodness. triple kill in that one Brandon. round. Brandon just put on a clinic. I thought he was dead for sure. Yeah. 2v1 push was coming through. He went through the doorway, jumped out with a pistol, and then come came back with an MCW, getting his third kill of the round. That is an explosive start for the Saints, and that's going to be a huge, huge momentum swing around that Akron probably should have had in a 3v2. They can get the plant down on A. They get a bit too greedy, go for that tank push, and Brandon just outplays them. And now Saints on the attack. Uh, I would say they struggle a little bit more on the attack instead than they do on the defense. On the defense is where they're really solid. I think if they can get this round on attack, it's going to be a huge momentum shift in their favor. Yeah, I agree with that too. And it does look like from St. Clair, they are sure what they're going to... Sorry, they are sure what they're going to be doing going towards that B site. Akron kind of all over, like, kind of all over that B site with uh, Biohazard get, does get down uh, Kausen near that bridge. Brandon kind of shooting shots, of course, not hitting them, but those look like he's really relocating, shooting off what looks like MZ on that on that tank. The tank being one of our one of the most common places for defenses. Yeah, Let's see what's gonna throw that flash. It is going to be trophy system. Brandon was swinging off that one, does get taken down to 81 HP here. You can see. MZ is sitting up there on that tank. The shot's gonna come through and the push is in there. Brandon will go oh. a bit too aggressive, but Rupert will find a couple with that rival nine. Now it's a 2v2 scenario. Saints looking at the plant down on this A site. Nobody from Akron is anywhere near. They are hesitating though because they don't really know where these last two members are. I feel like if the Saints just got that plant down immediately, would have been a very, very good spot start for them and it looks like finally they make their move the plant is going down it's going to be all on one player here on rupert to defend here and wow. saints hesitating a little bit too long will be losing the round as we're tied up at one apiece i do admit saint Clair did end up head uh, did hesitate right there fees obviously that was a fantastic flank right there that was smart of him to do that it does look like saint Clair starting off with the b site and then going down to a and then thieves kind of just flanking around them obviously it did get them that round but we are at a 1v1 sorry one on one and we still got the rest of the match to go to see how it goes i think the saints were expecting that thieves flank and that's why they didn't initially plant that bomb and mm -hmm. then once the time is ticking down you need to get that plant down and by that time i mean the timing was just perfect from thieves Tied up at one round apiece here now. Akron gonna look to push the B site yet again. No big flanks here from Saints this time. That was kind of a round one curveball, but it's gonna be Ruper up pretty aggressively here with this rival nine. Has been finding good kills here and there. See what the Saints can get done on the defense. No kills coming through just yet, but there's Ruper with a grenade. Picks up Thieves. Bowie will look for the swing oh. and does find the trade on to Ruper. He gets taken out to 53 HP. Overall, one for one trade with 50 seconds to go. That's for sure. Both teams were kind of slow in the beginning, but Akron slowly taking control of that B site. 
with Siwa, sorry, yeah, with uh, Kautzen kind of holding off that. Oh, oh and MZ does get down Siwads. That's a big shot there for MZ, as now it's going to be Akron yet again with the numbers advantage. This one is definitely not one they want to throw away. Brandon will survive on one HP. That could be a crucial, crucial gunfight there. Bowie forced out of his position as well as 18 seconds and taking the plant does need to go down sooner rather than later. Can Brandon spot the player up in mid just to his left there? Yes, he does. Ooh. Nice trade there. Bakudi does get taken down. The plant is down. It's going to be heroics needed from Brandon again to bring this one back. But in a 1v2, I feel like it's just a little bit too tough here. Let's see if he can find the flank. Going for the huge, huge flank obviously he has no idea where either of the Akron members are and he doesn't have too much time to work with here it's gonna be nearly impossible but let's see if Brandon can pull it off 20 seconds takes a good amount of time to get that defuse through looking to go on the aggression now goes for the shots spots out one spots out the second but oh. two versus one just a little bit too much to win there for Brandon Akron went a couple in a row and take the lead more of a slower round, but Akron, just like I had said before, they needed to work on the defense. And to be honest, the defense was amazing. They did a really good. They did it a really good uh, job on that. But just like I said before, both teams were kind of slow in that beginning, kind of trying to test, test, and see what uh, the other team was going to do. Yeah, I mean, it was a good round there from uh, both sides, but Akron in the end do come out on top. Now it's going to be on St. Clair on attack. Not gonna tie things up. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Forget the bomb in the spawn, but Brandon will pick that one up. The Saints looking to move their way over to the A site. Not something we've seen them do too often, but it doesn't look like Akron have too many defenders ready for this play. MZ is sitting on this tank as he has been for a good majority of this game. The plant is going down, I believe, for the Saints. Yes, there it is. Yes, gonna it go is. down, but a double kill. Bowie and Brandon both gonna get taken out by Biohazard. Makes this a 3v3 scenario, and plant did not go down. That is the crucial part oh. there. Seawads, MZ finding the better of that one-on-one -on -one yet again. A couple rounds in a row now. Nice shots there, but Rupert won't be able to find that either. MZ going crazy. Kudi finds the trade, gets onto the B side. The plant should go down in just a second, but it's gonna be another 1v2 for the Saints. Just gotta realize how quickly the situation like that can change, that's for sure. Now it's cuts and kind of just have to make sure to oh and unfortunately does get shut down by thieves and they are gonna be able to get that defend oh sorry uh defuse on. Yeah, Good. Akron looking a lot more sharp on this search and destroy. They've had the numbers advantage every single round from the look of things. Other than that, Brandon won V kind of three play there. Haven't really had any success as Akron have their number. What do you think the Saints need to do to kind of switch things up on Akron here? I feel like they got to be a little bit more aggressive here. I think that's the key, to be honest, because Akron, like I had said before the match has started, that they needed to have, they needed to work on their defense, so they just need to be, they just need to have better defense on that. They are clearly making up for last game, which is <laughs> phenomenal. St. Clair, you just need to be a little bit more aggressive. And as we are, look, does look like we are pushing towards that B side again. Very, very common, that's for sure. Push is going to be coming through from uh, University, but Rupert With the nade. finds a big nade onto MC, who has been a big, big player for Akron this uh, this map. I mean, he's been taking down Seawads with that AR, and now Seawads is going to be able to roam a little bit more free now. Let's see how the Saints play the four on three, though. Akron need to find some space to work with. Only 50 seconds, Bowie will go for this swing. But doesn't know there's a player on the corner. Oh. Yes, he does, but Rupert with that SMG. Does take him down. Seawad's gonna find Phoebes. Saints finally look like they are back to life. A 1v4 situation for Biohazard. Lives on 8 HP in that one-on-one. -on -one. Saints can't get too overconfident, though. Brandon will look for the shots here. Will be able to get it. Saints, a very, very clean round from them defensively as they make this game a 3-2 game. Game. That was for sure. They definitely kind of took their time. They didn't. They didn't rush in there. Obviously, being on the, that defense side. Yeah, and uh, it was just a great, a great job from there. Them there defensively, you could see they're very, very locked in, very focused on this map. They know how big of a matchup this is against Akron. If they can take this second map, they put themselves in a great position to take the series. They haven't found any success so far offensively. And as I did state, it's probably their weaker side of the two. 
but I think that's relatively normal on Search and Destroy. <laughs> Definitely harder to attack than defend. As Saints, yet again, might be setting up for an A push. They kind of got in there relatively easy last time, just couldn't get the plant down. Maybe instead of a smoke grenade, they need to throw a trophy system down on top of that. And then I think they put themselves in a prime position to win the round. But it doesn't look like they're going to full commit to this A push just yet. They might look to rotate over to B mid round. MZ kind of moving up to that tank position. Bowie getting knocked off the one with Brandon. Goes around the corner, but does get shut down by Rupert. A perfect trade. Kalsen deploying that trophy system. And hopefully maybe planting that bomb sooner than later. But oh. Rupert does get shut down by MZ with Biohazard getting the second. Seawad's knocking down Biohazard in return. A perfect trade off. And now, from what it looks like, it looks like Seawad's is the only one left for the St. Clair versus a, turning it into a 2v1. They do have control of that bomb, though. So Siwas, it is going to be a little bit difficult for Siwas to get in there. MZ behind that target, yeah. Unfortunately, they do take that. Unfortunately, uh, St. Clair does lose that round. Yeah, Saints just can't get anything going on these attacking rounds. It feels like Akron are just finding the first pick every single time. And it's definitely biting the Saints, as you can see. A bit of a sleeper performance <laughs> there. Not not too excited by that round, but I feel like if the Saints win a couple rounds in a row, we're going to be wide awake back there. They're going to be back on the defensive end. If they can just string a few rounds together, they're right back into this map, but you have to feel like if Akron take this round, this map's going to be very, very hard for the Saints to win. Yeah, that's for sure. Now St. Clair going on to the defense as well. Brandon, of course, behind that bridge. Impeccable angle, to be honest. Aquan kind of all over the place, to be honest. It does look like they are going to be going towards that A site. With it does look like Kazid, yep, behind that tank, kind of holding down that one angle, knocking off the bomb with Phoebes. Phoebes obviously eliminated. Aquan kind of having to have to go in there and take off, or sorry, take control of that site to get that bomb back. So in reality, Saint Clair does have an advantage right here. Yeah, absolutely. Having a one-man advantage and bomb down is a great, great start to the round. Bowie moving up pretty aggressively. Moody on this angle will be there. Rupert will be there to back him up against Bowie. As now they're going to push through here. Cooney going to find the shots with a pistol. Yes, they do. Biohazard goes down. Another 4v1 for the Saints now. Let's see how they close this one. Now MZ finds one. Does get spotted out. Nice shots there from the Saints. Another very, very good defensive round. Almost nothing Akron got going that round, but Saints have yet to win a round on attack. If they want to ever have a chance at winning this map, I think now is the time to turn the things around. That's for sure. I believe St. Clair just got to be a little bit more aggressive on those rounds as well if they want to take this match for the win. But we'll see how it goes as, uh, sorry, as uh, St. Clair is now on the attacking side. And they've tried to kind of push that ace site a couple times in a row and absolutely no success. Maybe switching things up and going for a B push might be in the books, but no, doesn't look like that's going to be the case. They are setting up around a, you could see Brandon and Cootie both going for this wide swing, but that angle from Biohazard, one of the well-known angles in the game, sitting back here. I know Brandon loves playing that one as well on the defensive side. Cootie has to be careful knowing that there is a player staring him down at all times. Saints need to go on the aggressive, as we've stated. On the attacking side, you can't just sit back and hope something happens. You need to create the action of Saints moving their way into A. Get in pretty deep position here. Smokes come out, the grenades come out. Plant not going down just yet, but Brandon in a great position is almost able to find one. Gets a lot of shots there onto Bowie, but it's gonna be Cootie, the first one to drop. P uh, Rupert falls as well. Plant is down, but Saints are now in a 2v4 scenario. It's gonna be very, very hard to defend this bomb, but it's gonna be Akron forced to do something. Brandon gonna be falling down. It's gonna be a 1v4. Seawads falls down. Saints finally get to a bomb site, but just get wiped off the face of the earth. Akron gonna be putting themselves on that point. Honestly, it was good defense on, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, sorry, it was good defense on St. Clair for that bomb. Of course, already getting overwhelmed, but it does happen. Hopefully, St. Clair will kind of pick it up on this, um, on this final round, kind of stop, uh, Aquan to kind of get in that last round, but we'll see what happens as we are going into a match point. Yeah, I mean, Saints have been really good on the defense, only losing the one round so far, but 
offensively just cannot get anything going. And you have to think to yourself, against a team like Akron, against a team that you can very well go to five maps with, these search and destroy games just become so, so important. Let's see if the Saints, though, can bring this one back. It's going to be a very aggressive push from Akron. Rupert, though, will instantly find a couple. And you can see Akron as well on the attack, struggling to find any success. Saints easily going to shut down down. Bomb is down mid. Practically an unwinnable spot here from Akron if the Saints play well. But we've seen miracles happen before. That's for sure. I believe this map is also heavily focused like defense favor yeah. as well like yeah, for sure there is a lot of good uh, p uh picks that you can pull off then ackerman sorry it's just a little bit unsure of what their next move is going to be st Clair holding those both points down tremendously seawad's kind of behind in that tractor and the bomb site great defense tactic right there mzo and he does get taken down by kautzen Bio has it going in there, but he does get shut down. St. Clair winning for that round. And it does look like one of the coaches is sleeping. But uh... that is Notch <laughs> over there. Closing, resting his eyes. You know, maybe he's coming in map three. He's just getting ready for the big show. Rupert having a quietly great game, 11 and 6 so far. But it won't mean much if the Saints cannot win these next two rounds. It is going to be Akron on match point again. And Saints haven't found a single round on attack here. This is their last chance to do so. I think a B push would definitely be something they might look for. This A push just has not worked time and time again. And now it looks like they finally will do a bit of a setup for this B push. It is only Thieves really holding this one down. A couple extra defenders on the A side for Akron. I feel like if the Saints really played with a lot of pace, they could get deep position on this side. Brandon, though, does get take down a few shots, but the nade from Kudi could be huge. Doesn't find anything. Rupert up very far, but only has the SMG. Not too good in this long range battles saints need to come help rupert out as it's gonna be saints they're getting a lot of good position there's the first pick oh. for cootie they should be able to get into the site get the plant down a couple members very far away biohazard all the way across the map has not started that flank yet you can see seawaz is expecting something back there let's see if he's gonna be able to find that kill it looks like biohazard has gone unspotted has the pistol and seawaz has no idea that there's one wow. behind makes it a 3v3 scenario rupert falls down as well 3v2 now for the saints as they are dropping left Left and right, only 29 seconds though for Akron to play this retake. Kudi waiting for someone to peek around that corner. Brandon has to be careful here, finds one, almost finds the second, but now it's gonna be a 2v1. Biohazard and MZ looking for the final kill here. Kudi does get stunned up, looks for the first shots, doesn't find it. One pushing to his right, that's gonna be the kill going over to Akron. They're gonna be able to take the map and tie the series up at one map apiece. Honestly, that was a great match between the two teams. It was it was it was fantastic. Although the map is heavily focused towards like or favored on defense side, they did okay. I mean, I believe Saint Clair kind of has to work on their defense a little bit, especially for search and destroy. That that's I think that's the only thing. So, uh, Akron is kind of just like I had stated before. What they needed to focus on was more towards aggression. They did do that, and it did work out for them, which was that it's good on theirs. Just Saint Clair's got to work a little bit on that, on that defense. Yeah, Saints struggling to find an attack, attacking round on that map. It is very hard to do so, and Akron were able to just get that one, and that did win them the map. Saints put a great effort there mm -hmm. in that final round, but just couldn't hold down the three, uh, the the situation there. So we're going to be going to a map three. It's going to be a crucial one. I think it is going to be control. Saints oh, yes. had a bit of a rough time on this game mode uh, last weekend, but I know that it's a game mode they've heavily, heavily been focusing on as of late, and I think we're going to be getting to see that here against Akron today. Definitely with control, there is... I think there's two things to really worry about. It's the lives that you have, because I believe both teams are limited to 30, yeah. and then it's... While trying to maintain lives, you have to also gain control of the two points. Or if you're defending, obviously de de defend the two points. Definitely so, defense side. Yeah. So it is. It definitely got to be. It's it's more of an, like a, like an aggressive approach towards the attackers. The attackers got to go in there. They got to take control of it. They got to go in as a team. It is a team based map. Or sorry, te team based uh, uh, mode. So for def for defense, it's. I feel like you got to kind of split up. You're unsure of what, yeah. what the other team is going to be doing. Maybe they'll split up as well. But 
defense is key on this, and obviously for attacking, you got to be aggressive. It's the only way. Yeah, I mean, I think the best play for defense, if you can get a player in into their spawn, I mean, getting one or two kills and just slowing that attack down mm -hmm. is definitely a key. I think we're going to see that a good amount of times oh, yeah. where there's a player on defense in the attacker spawn because every single kill that's picked up by that player is just so much more crucial than if the defender dies, defender respawns right next to the point. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's why this game with his defense size. So, Saints struggle on the attack, on the search and destroy. How do you think they will do on the control attack? Look at things. Honestly, I think from what we've seen, this is actually, it's not going to be the Skyrise map. I believe the map is, uh, is uh, Karachi. Mm -hmm. I believe so. So, every single time that I've seen St. Clair play on this map, they've done phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a mixture of, it's similar to sub base with the high ground a little bit and then you obviously got the low ground with one point mainly focused on like if you gain that uh, high ground you can definitely take control oh, at yeah. that point on that eight point exactly and then the diner uh had glitching behind the stairs in the back from the alley that's a tremendous play right there yeah. but honestly i feel like saint Clair can definitely take this i feel like uh they kind of learn okay they got to stay together as a team defense wise they just got to be uh, a little bit they got to be a little bit more careful with that. They got to be more focused on the defense. Yeah, absolutely. Last week, what did happen to them? They kind of all in defended on the A side and enemy team. Four man rushed the B side and mm -hmm. instantly took the B side. And oh, yeah. on this map, B side is definitely a lot harder to capture than A side. So uh, I need to make, I want to see the Saints not make that same mistake. Maybe on the defense, split up two and two. Mm -hmm. So you don't just instantly start the round at a disadvantage. As we said, defense definitely going to be very much favored on this map but if saints are on attack i would definitely like them to all four members go to one one site and just play as a as a as a ball they mm -hmm. did very well in doing that on map one they they were out fragging akron by quite a good amount and in, in a game like this when kills matter so so much i think they definitely have the upper hand yeah i agree with you on that i do got to point out for karachi as well for a key for attacking uh, especially on the the middle, like kind of, I believe that's A point, I yeah. believe, yes. Because Diner is B, yeah. so on A point. Is having one guy kind of go towards the top would be key because for defense, you have, you could have one guy go on top, uh, at least two in the middle, and then another one on the left, on, the, on that, on the red building. Mm -hmm. But I believe we're actually going to be going into game at the moment, and yes, we are starting off with what looks like I believe Akron is the Attack. is attacking, yes. Yeah. And St. Clair defending. So I'm interested to see how St. Clair kind of splits up to defend this. Yeah, and you can see they do have a member on B this time and three on A, as the A is definitely going to be the attack side here. Kudi looking for the one on one, doesn't find it. MC with a great start to the round four. Akron, but we're going to find the second. And it looks like this A side is going to be going down relatively quickly for the side of Akron, but Rupert does find a nice pick. And as I said, you're going to see a defender in the spawn of the attackers. Rupert isn't going to go too deep, but will be sitting there looking to find those shots as every kill back there is so crucial. Two ticks now. Gonna be taken up on this a site but nice shots from Kuri and Siwaz Rupert joins in on the fun Thieves oh. gets taken down it's a clean ace for the Saints they defend the a site for a little bit longer and the longer you can defend this a site the better Rupert though was kind of the anchor for that B defense. Does go down early, and it looks like maybe Akron are gonna look to split up a little bit. Brandon finds a pick, Kudi gets taken down. Brandon is all alone on this A site as his team has fallen behind him. It looks like Akron will capture this A site. Now it's gonna be all on Saints to find this heroic defense. That's for sure, and does look like St. Clair is kind of going towards B. Akron is looking to capture that A point any second now, and yes, they do. And they do have to kind of have to push in together on that B to kind of at least capture that point. St. Clair having to put up incredible defense. So, like, for that point, that's for sure. They are kind of spread out at the moment. Still trapped in that A area. Looks like Biohazard is looking to go around in the corner to flank him. Getting into that point is perfect, to be honest, because you do have sight inside the building. Oh, the Seawad's going in the back and picking off MZ. Oh, sorry, uh, Thieves. Rupert getting a double. Perfect control for St. Clair. 
Yeah, they're doing a great job defensively. You can see Rupert is now yet again in the spawn of Akron. If he can find a kill on that flank, would be huge. But it's going to be Seawaz finding one, Kuti finding the second. And these deaths are pretty staggered for Akron. They're dying one person at a time. So they're having a hard time pushing in. Now Seawaz is going to find one more on Bowie. Saying he's doing a great job defensively. But it's going to be a kill coming back onto Seawaz. You can see the position has reset. Ruper is going to have a huge one on one in the spawn there. We'll find wow. it onto Bowie as Brandon finds MZ. That's going to stop the push. Another 4 for 0. Clean ace for the Saints. They're doing amazing on this defense. Only 12 lives left for Akron. You can see how dominant they are on the just pure fragging of uh, the game. Another clean over. ace going over to the Saints. Ruper very close to a streak. I'm not sure if those translate into the next round, but he won't be able to get it either way. Kuri finds a pick onto Biohazard. Every single one for one trade is good for the Saints. You can see how far up the map they are. Another clean ace for the Saints. Four lives left for Akron. Almost no way to win this round. Kuri finds one. Gonna push way in there. Gets a second <laughs> with the pistol. And only two lives left here for Akron. They will try and do something, but Siwads finds the last two. A quick and easy round for the Saints in round one. That was a crazy round, to be honest. St. Clair taking control of that middle, slowly pushing up, trapping Akron in their spawn. Wow. Honestly, that was great on that part, to be honest. Amazing defense right there. Absolutely. And now on attack, let's see what the Saints can do. Will they go for that A push and then into the B, where they just saw how hard it is to do? Or will they maybe send all four people to the B side and maybe try and flip the map? We're getting underway in map two. Let's see what the Saints decide to do. For sure. It does look like they are all going towards A, capturing that moment. Uh, sorry, capturing that point with Agron kind of getting. Oh, oh see so what accidentally does, does does kill himself. But St. Clair switching. They move towards the B. Yeah, it's a look great, at that. It's a great, great play, but it's going to be hard to withstand a three versus four position here. But it looks like Seawaz should be able to find a pick. That's a nice pick. Nice. The Saints can find one more, two more kills here. Looking very good for them, Brandon. That's a crucial pick. As Saints get two ticks here. They have all their members in this side. It's going to be a crucial contest here from Bowie. Does find one. Phoebes finds one as well. Bowie will get taken down as MZ gets taken down as well. B point should be secured for the Saints here. The contest comes in. Last second. Seawatch oh. with a turn on. Captures the B site as now Saints have over two minutes to capture the A site. That was a beautiful capture. First faking towards A and then going straight towards B. Finally gaining that point, taking control. Now A should be a breeze to be honest. Siwa's kind of in that red building, picks off the one, gets oh. the double. Fantastic job. Clean ace. Brandon getting, yep, Brandon getting Thieves and Bowie clearing that team. St. Clair getting enough time to capture this, at least getting it to the second tick. Perfect defense on their side with the, with the aggression as well. Yeah, Saints very, Would you look at very, that? very easily going to take that second round. And Akron in these respawn game modes just cannot seem to compete. Saints blowing them out of the water. As I said, going for that B site first might be the play. And it worked out for the Saints there. Akron caught a bit off a guard as you can see our players definitely feeling good after that one. But they're probably a bit concerned after losing that second map. So really turning it up a notch. And now they mm -hmm. put themselves on game point here. Let's see if they can stop the Akron push one more time. For sure. They are definitely focused into this going into the third round of this match. And I'm interested to see... This look like Akron... Oh, sorry. Yes, Akron kind of going up to that top one. Getting that... Uh, taking control of that first uh, A point. Brandon going in there. Can he take out... One, he does have to watch the one on the on the roof, sorry. And he does, yes he does. But does he, can he handle Biohazard? And it does look like Thieves as well. Kind of waiting for his team to go in there. They're already at two ticks. Unfortunately, Five, Akron yeah. does, does take that point. It does look like it. Yeah. Yes, it does, okay. And Saints are very contempt with getting up this A site. They know that this game is won, whether you can capture this B site or not. And Ruper has been doing God's work. 12 and 2 so far this map for Ruper. Just an insane performance. And he's been the core defender here on this B site. He's been holding it down for the whole team and finding these big, big flanks that really slow down the push of Akron. But no kills for a while here. But now a couple go over to the side of the Saints. <laughs> You know, Siwaz had to make sure that the enemy was taken down there. 
a couple extra shots after that never hurts. As now, Saints are doing a great job yet again of just stopping the Akron players in their tracks. Cootie gonna have a huge, huge challenge here. Does fall down, but Biohazard does fall on the flip side. Every kill on the attack is not as important. The one on the defense, every single one for one for the defense feels like a two for one. As a couple more kills go over to the Saints. See what's finding a double kill. Rupert, nice little flick there onto MZ. Another clean defense for the Saints. As it looks like Akron with a bit of a desperation now can't find anything on this map it's wow. all green in the kill feed he was on a five spree looking to pick up those streaks Kuri does go down in the end but Rupert will find a trade looking for the second does get taken out but you can see Saints are so far up the map they're not giving Akron any room to work with he has that kill streak could prove crucial it's all green in the kill feed yet again for sure, it did look like Akron is going to go in there and take control of that, but St. Clair with that impeccable defense, boy, that was that fantastic. Biohazard shutting down Brandon and Kowski getting off Thieves. Siwaz kind of getting control of that high ground, kind of into their spawn, but does get shut down by, I believe his name is Ba, sorry. St. Clair obviously putting off that good defense. Akron kind of, kind of a little bit, uh, spread out a little bit but it does look like uh bowie is going to go in the back kind of get that flanking unsure i f believe he's going to go behind yes does get c wads brandon getting the double with rupert getting mz as well kelsey getting the other and from what it looks like it's looked like it's going to be like from last round st Clair trapping them in their spawn and it just turned on my words okay that was a beautiful map from St. Clair. Relatively easy 3-0. No threat ever of losing that B-side from the look of things. And on the attack, making it swift, making it quick. Definitely a good, good map for them. As now, they put themselves on a match point. They are up 2-1 against one of the better teams here. And then you can see Rupert, 18 and five on that map. That is absolutely wow. insane. You'd see very happy <laughs> with his the performance <laughs> there. Saints haven't got the job done yet. I believe we're going to be going to a hard point map next. And they looked very good in the first hard point. They looked very good in the second respawn game mode control. Mm -hmm. What do you think are their keys to victory clo to close this map out on this hard point? Man, ah. Uh, St. Clair definitely put up that uh, aggression, that's for sure. Especially from that uh, search and destroy round and coming or coming back from the search and destroy round and in the control, just that perfect aggression. Honestly, that was fantastic. And with it obviously being hard point, uh, we don't have the map yet, but I believe St. Clair is going to pull it off. Yeah, I mean, you would have to think that to yourselves, Akron. I mean, they've tried a couple times on these mm -hmm. respawn game ones. They haven't really gotten too close. You definitely, the Saints are going to be the ones with all the momentum and confidence, but they can't get overconfident. Akron's still a team that can do a lot of damage. And if Saints take their foot off the gas for one or two points here, I mean, I could see Akron definitely making this a close one. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. I was, I was interested to see how, like, how that round was going to turn out because... I found it fantastic the fact that they ended up taking like Saints taking uh, control of that middle ground like where A point was, which is really important because to be honest, it's directly right in the middle of the map. You take control of that and you pretty much have control almost the entire map because there's spawns right there. So Saint, Saint Clair, like I said, it was it was perfect, and I believe we do have our next map. We're going into game. Yep, and it is Vista, which is to be honest, one of the submachine gun maps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mostly popular for that, that's for sure. I mean, yeah, we've seen the Saints pull out a couple SMGs, but a lot of their players are very, very good with those assault rifles. And it's a look that I haven't seen too much from Saints. I haven't seen them play this map too, too much. So see how ready they are in this challenge. See Wads and, it and does Brandon look like looking very, very <laughs> ready. Saints get an ace to start off the round. All four members from Akron gonna fall down. Brandon looking for a kill again. Will relocate after those few shots. The spot out Biohazard. Rupert's gonna take that one down. Takes down a couple. See Wads gonna find a third. It's gonna be Akron struggling to get a kill here in these opening moments of the game. See Wads some shaky shots there. Doesn't find the kill yet, but will be able to stay alive. And you can see the support is there from Kudi. They are gonna push See Wads relatively hard. Peeves finds that shot. Biohazard will find it onto Kuri as well, but Saints already 40 seconds on the hard point. Akron haven't been able to do anything so far in this game, but you can see they rotated over to the second side relatively well. 
That's for sure. St. Clair obviously putting off a good defense, pushing the Akron and back into their spawn. Obviously get numerous aces. MZ picking off Brandon with Thieves with counts in as well. Akron, uh, sorry, Akron does take control over that next point, but that trade does happen between uh, Thieves and Brandon as well. Great defense, obviously. Now St. Clair having to go into their break their defenses with Rupert coming up behind them. They're all focused towards the middle. Yeah. Rupert does get one. Unfortunately, does get knocked oh out. Siwa's killing him, but does kill Counts in the return. A big twist. In the That's for sure. Siwa's that one gets oh. the double. Looking for the triple. Oh! oh. Damages him completely, but unfortunately does not get the triple. He is damaged. St. Clair finally gaining control of that point. Rupert finishing him off. Nice job from the Saints yet again as they just play the retake amazingly. Couple do fall down, but Seawads does find the trade. Eight and three, great start to this map. Nine and three, Seawads has been frying on this map. Next hardpoint gonna start in just a second. Unfortunately, timing there for Seawads, but he's taking the challenge anyway, oh. even against two members. Bowie will find that kill. However, Bakuri does find the trade onto Biohazard. Now we're on the jungle a point. MZ will find the opening kill onto Rupert, but Brandon does trade one back. Nobody's on the hard points for either side here. Peeps will get pushed in. Brandon with a pistol finds one. Seawalls does get traded out. But it is a good spawns for Akron here. Saints pretty far away from this hard point. I think it's the Kuri going to be having to pull off this huge play, but doesn't find the initial kill. It's going to be hard to do much with that SMG. And the enemy spawn does find a pick, though, on to Bowie. Rupert finds a second, but Kuri falls down. It looks like this is the point where Akron are going to get some time back. That's for sure, there's agreement right there for you. Obviously St. Clair trying to push in for them, just trying to get a little bit with 15 seconds on the clock. It might be smart for them to head to the next point though. And it does look like, oh, I'm sorry. It does look like they kind of do regain that point. Akron kind of having a little bit of an advantage with MZ kind of already securing it with Bowie as well. It does look like Seawaz is making his way, but does get eliminated by Bowie as well. Counts in, oh sorry, Cootie does go in there. Going into the back of the spawn, Bowie holding off that flank. Does take one, does oh. the double, but does get shut down by Cootie, unfortunately. But MZ shuts him down with Rupert getting the trade and Brandon taking them down. It's wow, still... that was a lot that just happened in under 20 seconds. Still, it's <laughs> very, very good for Akron. Every single trade mattered so, so much, and they put themselves in a position to take the lead they on did. this hard point. Saints struggling relatively hard here on this retake. Finally, a couple kills come through, but yet again, Bowie has been the hero here early on these rotates. Finding those picks, it's going to be Akron actually taking the lead here. Not something I thought I would see after such a strong start. As it it's been all blue in the kill feed for the last little while. Saints gonna have to regroup, refocus, maybe try to rotate a bit early into these next points. It's been Akron who's had the upper hand for most of the map. That is for sure. Uh, sorry, Cootie kind of eliminating off Rupert, or sorry, Biohazard right there. St. Clair trying to take control of that point, and it does look like they do at the moment with Cootie kind of going towards that low ground watching that back door mz picking a fight with brandon behind that counter tossing grenades flashes whatever to get them all off get them all off the point yeah it does, sorry it does look like akron is looking to go towards that flank as well but it does look like Cootie does go around along with um sorry with that brandon as well picking off biohazard and they get on the site here. Saints, though, do take the lead yet again. It looks like on a map like this, feels like whoever rotates to the next hard point first just gets a lot of time. Let's see how Saints decide to play this one. They're going to be back into the middle. They found a lot of success in these enclosed areas. It's going to be an all-out brawl. Rupert, though, wow. finding a couple early picks. Seawaz finds a third, a clean four for OAs to start off this hard point. Saints going to get that time taking Kuri. One kill off those kill streaks. Rupert has the sh first streak. Let's see if he can get any more tacked onto that one. Kuri does fall down. Brandon finds the trade, though. Almost oh. finds the second. Yes, he does. Rupert on the seven streak, getting very, very close to some very, very round game-winning kill streaks. Let's see how much more he can get done here. If he can get any other streaks, I think this map's going to be very, very hard for Akron to win. Brandon in an impossible scenario does 
trade it uh, one for one. Kudi has to be careful here. Doesn't want to go down. Does go down. It's going to be all up to Rupert, who's been on this point the entire time. Does get shot in the back finally as they do shut him down. But that was a good, good hard point from the Saints. It was, to be honest. The defense was incredible holding off that middle point. And now with the second, sorry, the second point opening it up, and it does look like everyone is focused towards the first one. Bowie picking off Seawads. Biohazard accidentally killing Bowie. That's such an unfortunate move. Biohazard picking a fight with, uh, sorry, with um, Seawads as well. Sorry, with Rupert. With Seawads picking off Thieves. Just back and forth, trades and trades. Cowdy picking up uh, the, the uh, sorry, taking control of the point. Akron kind of have to regroup. It does look like they have Rupert in the middle, kind of holding that off. Does pick off Thieves, but does get shut down by by Biohazard uh, trade on. Sorry, trades. Yeah, I mean Saints doing a good job of maintaining this point. And they might not be on the point too too much, and it's gonna be Akron who kind of feel like they have to get on the site. Saints getting every kill around the site though. Bowie. Won't be able to find that kill onto Brandon, which will give the Saints an extra 15 seconds of control time. Unless Thieves can go crazy here, does find a couple, but gets caught reloading. Saints gonna completely abandon that one. It's gonna be only MZ on at this point, trying to get him back into deep, deep into the back lines for the side of Akron. But Saints snip that one out. They find a couple picks. They can blow this game wide open on this hard point. Cootie going crazy, finding a couple there. All Saints almost in a positive here for the KDA. Cootie finds another one Rupert and Brandon sitting on this point the Seawaz and Kuri just run around the map killing whoever they feel like Kuri is now on a five streak one kill off of streaks as well does fall down but Saints at 200 points getting very very close to closing this map out Wow, to be honest, that all a lot just happened in under 30 seconds, that's for sure. Rupert 25 and 13, just like to point that out, completely dominating that match. St. Clair in general with a 205. Ekron obviously taking control of that point. St. Clair trying to regain with does look like Rupert is in the back. Kind of picking off in their spawn, holding both angles off. Does get noticed off by Bowie and what looks like Bio, uh, Biohazard as well. Does get knocked off by Biohazard. Perfect. Biohazard kind of cornered right there. Brandon picking him off with the pistol. Perfect. Now St. Clair does have control over that next point. And I believe with this next point, they could potentially win if they keep the defense up. And from the look of things, they are doing yes, so. They are. Brandon finding three there. Seawatts finds the fourth. Going massive here. Brandon is trying to close out this game. He does fall down. Kuri though finds a trade. Rupert, unfortunate timing there. Nade will pick up that kill. Martyrdom from the death. Kuri is sitting in a good oh. position. Does get taken down though. Bowie finding that pick. MZ gonna find a second. It looks like finally Akron will have a bit of breathing room, but I don't know how much breathing room they have left. Rupert finds one. Kuri finds the second. Saints get back on the side. Game can't end it just yet on this one. But Saints won't even look to get the garbage time. I think they should. They will finally get on that one. They will put themselves in like seven, eight point range of closing out this map as maybe there's just one hard point left in the series. That's for sure. And from what it looks like, St. Clair is playing up a pretty good defense, already gaining control of that next point, which is phenomenal work for them. Akron kind of moving in as a unit, 48. rushing in there. Kelsey getting one, Rupert gets one, and that is game. St. Clair winning that match. I mean, beautiful play there from the Saints. The hard point games and the... Uh, the other respawn game mode capture was just phenomenal from them. They looked unstoppable. They take the series 3-1 against Akron and they move to 5-1 on the season. Akron now going to be 4-2. Uh, definitely a good series from the Saints. They're going to be very happy with how they did in the respawn game modes. I think Search and Destroy though will be a big point of emphasis going through the season. It always has been. Mm -hmm. They have improved uh, quite a lot but still uh, a bit more they need to do in that search and destroy game mode to really put themselves at the very, very tippity top of the game. They did, and honestly, that was a fantastic match between those two. My God, Rupert getting 30 and 16, fantastic, just popping off on that last round. Honestly, my God, that was amazing, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, the Saints just, they got way more kills than Akron in the respawn game modes. There's no other way to say it. When the respawn game modes come around, they just frag out and they showed why they are 
one of the best teams in collegiate Call of Duty. This is the Super Conference, so there are zero easy matchups, and you know, they're five and one on the season. They've always been one of the strongest team, and I think this year, even with a few new players, they're not looking to slow down. That's for sure. And I believe we are so we are going to be having an interview with one of our players, Brandon Last at Last, which should. Which they're not ready at the moment, but we'll just give them, just give them a few minutes to uh, kind of celebrate and uh, yeah. But yeah, but honestly, how did you feel with that match with between Akron and Saint Clair? Because I honestly, that was amazing. There was they both did phenomenal. Uh, kind of having both good defense and offense as well. Uh, there was a, there was there was a few times where I was a little bit worried about Saint Clair, was a little bit worried about Akron, but. Of course, our, our St. Clair pulling off with that win. Yeah, I mean, the fact that Saints were just able to breeze through every single respawn game mode definitely, uh, definitely gives them an upper hand. Oh, yeah. The fact that they know, oh, yeah, we can lose this search and destroy map and win every three maps. Like, obviously, that's not the mentality yeah. you want to have. You want to win every single map possible. But when you're just that good at these respawn game modes, you definitely might just look to put in a little bit more time into those modes because, you know, if you win every respawn game mode, you can never lose a series. Yeah, that's for sure. I believe Saint Clair does have to work on that. Saint, uh, that sorry, that's uh, search and destroy though. I believe that's the only thing, like only game mode that they are having troubles with. I believe if they do have that mastered down, that with that defense as well. Defense, oh, sorry, defense. I feel like was good. It's just the offense, the attacking. It was of obviously with the map being invasion. It is more towards defense, like. Favorite. Favored, so it is a little bit difficult. But there obviously is points to where I did notice on uh, a site down that uh, one aisle. They never went down there. Kind yeah. of obviously because the bridge is there and it is uh, pretty, uh, pretty good defense. But I did notice that they never went down there. I think that would have taken a different route if they kind of just went down that aisle, teamed up, kind of went through, sorry, hotel, and we'll should have seen what what. Kind of difference would that would that make? Yeah, the Saints now gonna be uh, all by themselves in that two spot, uh, five and one on the season. I mean, they're definitely off to a hot start. That one loss was against the best team, so nothing to look down upon. But I think if they keep playing this way and, as you said, improve that search mm -hmm. and destroy, I think they are going to be one of, if not the scariest team in the conference. Yeah, for sure. I agree with you on that. Just that they just need to pick it up on that on their search and destroy, and I believe they'll do fantastic job yeah and you know um a lot of season left to go we've seen these exactly. Saints play uh, a few more times you know what would you guess right now mid-season prediction what would be their final like the spot where they finish at uh to be honest um there's i think there's eight teams or ten teams in the super conference i so, believe so yes yeah, so where do you think they'll rank at the end of the season well as of right now we can't say for sure uh, I believe there is one team that is undefeated at the moment. Correct. I believe five and zero. Oh. I've, I apologize to that team. <laughs> unfortunately, I don't. I don't know their name. Unfortunately, but they are obviously undefeated with five wins. Saint Clair now having five and one. I believe right. Yeah. So kind of they are. I believe ranked second as well in standings now because of uh, of tonight. Yeah. But if Saint Clair keeps it like this and kind of picks it up with that search and destroy. Uh, round and kind of uh, fix their uh, aggression more, I believe they could win they could the win standings, the to be honest. I mean, I must agree with you. I feel confident in our Saints. They can mm -hmm. finish at top this super, super conference. But that is going to be it for us today. Give a quick shout out to all our sponsors. We have Alienware, Tim Horton, Subway, St. Clair SRC, Associated St. Clair Alumni. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to everyone in the back who made this stream possible. A lot of people needed to make this production possible. Thank you to our players for putting on a show for us uh, today. Uh, I've been thinking Theo, uh, and you've been Aiden. Aiden, thank you guys for watching. We're going to be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. for some GC Valorant action. Thank you guys for watching and have a good night.